Hi guys, it's Angel and we are back with another ukulele tutorial and for today's video, I'm going to teach you another OPM song, another Hugot song from this band and it's called Dina Babali. Tung this band na to, no, from kahit ayaw mo na, hindi na tapos Dina Babali. Sobrang sakat siguro nung pinagdadaanan nung nag-compose na tong mga kanta nito. Well, anyways, if you are interested on learning the song, then grab your ukulele and just keep on watching. So let's start the tutorial with the chords na kailangan nating matutunan para dito sa song na to. And there are only four chords for this song. And let's start with F major, index and middle. Index finger, second string, first fret, and then middle finger, second fret, fourth string. Yeah. Next is B flat. B flat or A sharp. Ibabarin niyo dito sa may first fret tapos yung middle finger nasa... 2nd fret, 3rd string, and then yung ring finger ninyo nasa 3rd fret, 4th string. Next is a G minor. Index, middle, and ring. Index sa may 1st string, 1st fret, middle, 3rd string, 2nd fret, and then yung ring finger ninyo nasa 2nd string, 3rd fret. And for our last chord, E flat. Ganyan yung E flat. Parang ilang siya. Pero i-move ninyo siya sa may 1st fret. Ayan. Ring, yung index finger ninyo nasa 1st string, 1st fret, and then middle ring and pinky sa may 3rd fret, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string. So, those are the chords na kailangan natin para matutunan tong song na to. And now, let's start sa first part, which is the intro. So, sa intro, ang chord progression lang niya is B flat, F, G minor, and E flat. You're going to repeat the chord progression for three times. And now, let's try to play the intro. Ang strumming pattern pala natin sa buong song is down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So now, let's try to play the intro. with the verses. So, sa verse, ang chord progression natin, in same pa rin sa intro, B flat, F, G minor, and E flat. And then, you're going to repeat it four times. And, the strumming pattern is, same pa din, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So, now, let's try to play the verse. hindi nyo gagamitin yung strumming pattern and chord progression for the second verse. And now, let's proceed with the pre-chorus. So, dito sa pre-chorus, ang chord progression natin is G minor, F, and then you're going to repeat it ng tatlong beses, tapos yung last is E flat and F. So, now, let's try to play the pre-chorus. Same strumming pattern pa din siya. Ala -ala. the 
and with the chorus. So, dito sa chorus part, ang chord progression natin and ang strumming pattern natin is same pa rin sa intro and sa verse. And that's D flat, F, G minor, and E flat. So, now let's try to play the chorus. And then after nun, merong instrumental part. And ang chord progression lang dun is, same pa rin sa verse, D flat, F, G minor, and E flat. Tapos, isang bells lang yun. Then after nun, second verse, pre-chorus, and then chorus ulit. Tapos, after ng second chorus, meron dun instrumental part again, D flat, F, G minor, and E flat pa rin yung gagamitin ninyong chord progression. And then, twice nyo naman siyang uulitin. And then after nun, um, chorus ulit. Yung last chorus, same lang siya nung unang chorus na tinuro ko sa inyo. Pero, madadagdagan nyo siya ng lyrics. Na, ang chord progression pa rin is B flat, F, G minor, and E flat. So, ganito siya kapag ka tinugtog natin yung last chorus natin. And the last chord na ipiplay ninyo kapag end na yung song is B flat. Ayan, bigla kasi hindi bito yun eh. And pasensya na din kung medyo hirap akong i-reach yung mga high notes kasi nakaupo ako. Ayan na naman, nag-explain na naman ako. Basta may hirap siya, medyo may birit kasi tong kantang to. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video and huwag niyo kalimutang i-like. Kung na-enjoy ninyo at may natutunan kayo. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Comment down below your song requests and shoutouts. Follow me on my social media accounts. And I'll see you guys in my next video.